Hey friends, Clayton Phillips here again from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And I am all fired up here today. Today is a fun day. Uh, we've already got one video under our belt. We almost broke an hour. Um, we're hopefully gonna not go the, as long on this video. Um, but I'm super jacked up to introduce again today the newest arrivals, uh, newest arrival to our lineup here at Woody's RV World Leduc and Woody's RV World in Western Canada. We are the first dealer in Canada to represent the all new Ember RV product uh, out of Bristol, Indiana. And this folks is a special trailer, uh, a special lineup of trailers. And uh, we just shot this 190 uh, here. You'll check that out on YouTube, big bunk model. We're not a big bunk model, but a bunk model nonetheless. Um, and we're about to shoot the video on the 171 FB couples unit. And uh, I am absolutely ecstatic, folks. This has been a long time coming. Uh, we visited Indiana back towards the middle, late September, uh, where we were introduced to the people, the founders of the company, um, Ashley and her team with Chris, Steve, Ernie, and company. And I got to tell you, I am so impressed with the people um, that have founded this company, their vision, uh, their mission to be different, to come to the marketplace with a product that is going to challenge the industry, but also open up doors for people um, to allow them to go further, to allow them to go farther into the season, to not be restricted by the way RVs typically are produced. And I got to tell you, the Ember Overland which I'm coining an adventure trailer. Uh, the adventure trailers in the marketplace is an emerging segment. Um, they've been around for a while, especially in Australia, and now coming to the North American RV market. And Ember RV, their launch of their product is the adventure trailer in the Overland. They also have the Overland Micro. And I gotta tell you folks, I've been around a long time. Um, I've been working at the RV dealership here since I was 13 years old and I've toured manufacturing plants for years. I've been up and down the assembly lines. I've seen how they've been built. I've seen what works, what doesn't work. And I got to tell you folks, I haven't been as excited for a product um, in a long time as I have uh, been when uh, we acquired the Ember um, franchise for here in Western Canada. And there is just so much to talk about on this trailer. So I'm going to get into it. Um, again, this is a different product. Ground up, it starts with the chassis, the foundation. What's the most important part of a house is the foundation. And Ember is building a chassis that is not necessarily new to the industry. Um, they're using a box style chassis or a tubular um, a, a box rail that's tubular. It's not an I-beam that you typically see in the industry. Um, Travel Air, um, built in Red Deer, Alberta for years and years, uh, my hometown, they built their product on a box style chassis. And I gotta tell you friends, on a smaller trailer on a box chassis creates an unbelievable towing experience. But what's more important, having a box style chassis friends, really eliminates the deflection that's transferred up from the suspension into the chassis and up into the trailer. And so one of the things that is really important, especially on an off-road trailer that you're gonna be going over terrain that is more aggressive than what you would typically be going to your everyday campsite. And so having that proper foundation, it's like putting rebar in the concrete on your house, right? You gotta have it and on an, in a, off-road adventure style trailer, it's so important because what can happen is if you don't have enough strength and integrity in the chassis mounted through the walls and the way everything interlocks, you'll get too much movement and flex in your trailer and it will knock your slide out out of alignment. It'll have an impact on your doors, on your cabinetry, um, your corner moldings over time, if they're not secured properly, they will start to pull away. Um, if they don't put the right things in the aluminum tubes or use the right type of structure to support the trailer. And I gotta tell you that the Ember brand, the Ember product in the Overland, they've got a perfect pairing of that structural foundation with their box style chassis um, the suspension that they're using, 
the exoskeleton that ties everything together and is an absolute perfect fit um, with laser cut tracks where all of the piece parts and pieces that seal in that exoskeleton fit together perfectly to eliminate deflection through the coach and allowing the suspension system to do what it's intended for. And this is where one of those areas are. You've got that box rail chassis. Again, um, that box rail chassis, your outriggers weld on really, really easy. Again, very, very strong. But one of the things that really separates the Ember Overland from everyone else in the industry, friends, is they use the Curt Independent Trailing Arm Suspension. Now you look at that thing, you've got a coil uh, suspension with the bushings in there to prevent bottoming out. You've got nitrogen filled shock absorbers. You can fully adjust your suspension with this little dial right here. So the camber is adjustable. The alignment is adjustable. But when you look, there's no axle. So the clearance that this particular trailer has is absolutely fantastic. There are other products in the industry that claim they have independent suspension, but they really don't. Um, the torsion flex axle uh, is what I'm referring to where each tires it's on its own arm and they claim that it's independent which it somewhat is but the issue is because it's rubberized and you've got these rubber uh, shafts running down the middle of your axle it actually ties one side of the trailer to the other and so sometimes you tend to get a little bit more wandering because of that um, you hit a bump hard enough the trailer's going to bounce and wander where this is a true independent front suspension each side of the tire where it's mounted is completely separate from the other and so unbelievable uh, clearance on this product. You've got fantastic, like we're hearing on the tra the drivers that are ha hauling them as single hauls to the dealers are absolutely loving how smooth the trailers are. And so one of the major benefits to this Kurt uh, trailing arm independent suspension is that depending on how rough the terrain you're going over, what this is going to allow the trailer to do is sit more level as you're going over the adverse you know road conditions and the terrain or potholes or wherever you're going with the trailer because this trailer although it's going to do a lot of the same things that every other trailer in the industry is going to do it allows you to go farther longer and uh, again, it's gonna stand the test of time because the materials they're using, but absolutely fantastic system. Also, you've got the uh, Goodyear Wrangler LT225 75R 16 inch tires. What's really nice about this folks, and this is a trailer that is winterized. You have 12 volt thermostatically controlled heat blankets. You've got forced air heat from your Truma combo, combi. Um, hot water heater furnace combo. It's like the BMW of furnace hot water heaters combined in one unit. It's absolutely amazing from Germany, designed in Germany, engineered in Germany. It's unbelievable. We'll get it more into it. Um, but with the um, uh, Wrangler tires, if you're doing the, you know, if you're doing some cold weather travel, it's a little icy, or um, you know, you're on the snowy conditions, you want to head out skiing or something. When you put the brakes on on the truck, obviously it will activate the brakes on the trailer. Having a real nice meaty tire like this will help you slow down a lot better in adverse conditions. The other thing, depending on where you're going, if you're hauling the trailer in rainy conditions, if you're going around, we got a lot of clay out in the West Country, right? So you could be sliding around a bit more. Having that meaty tire is just gonna help that trailer, you know, prevent from sliding around as much as what a regular trailer tire would be. So very, very nice trailer uh, tire on this particular trailer. And then they actually put the spare tire. It's kind of like a Jeep. You know, you show off that nice, beautiful rear tire on the back. The spare tire even comes with the alloy wheel as well. Mounted up nice and high. Absolutely beautiful. So you can mount a bike rack right there on that two inch receiver. So really, really cool. Um, again, ground up. Let's talk about the exoskeleton. So the structure that this particular trailer has where your corner moldings are, okay, tied into your roof moldings all the way down the roof line of the trailer, down the front of the trailer, uses a very beefy, very thick gauge Thick gauge, is that even a thing? Thick gauge, thicker gauge, uh, aluminum, extruded aluminum, okay? So very, very thick. Like if you had one of these pieces in your hand, you would not be able to bend it, all right? Your typical corner molding that you find in most of the trailers in the industry is very thin. You could grab it and bend it very easy. But what's beautiful about this is it locks in 
every aspect of the trailer to help eliminate the deflection that you will get as you're going over the bumpy conditions. And so when you look at this, like look at the fasteners going in that they've got. Dialed right in. Um, one of the areas that's really neat to see and where it locks in is they cut these, I believe they laser cut them out, but you've got these laser cut grooves where this outer piece here locks in to this side piece, tying it all together. So you're basically eliminating any amount of deflection in the sidewall of the trailer that you would typically feel in a conventional built trailer. And so the benefit to that is that your slide out's gonna be working when you get to your, you know, deep in the woods, rugged camping spot where nobody else will be to get to your favorite lake where you wanna go fishing, for example, right? So um, the other thing that they do is they give you body armor. I love this, body armor. Um, so you've got your sidewall, which is a fiberglass, laminated, fully composite. So the hull of this trailer has no wood in it whatsoever, okay? And it uses a laminated panel construction, which I'll talk about shortly. But the body armor, so this wall panel, actually transitions all the way down to here. So you've got fiberglass that goes all the way down to here. But to, in order to protect the exterior of the trailer, because depending on where you're going off-road style, you may be going down a little narrower path. You may get the odd tree branch sticking out that's a little thicker than you'd like. So rather than all of that abrasion being up on the fiberglass wall of your trailer, where most of the trailer fiberglass walls transfer all the way down to here, um, they put this super thick gauge aluminum panel up the sidewall as protection. And you could change that out. So if you got some abrasion, it's not gonna necessarily damage the fiberglass wall and the structural integrity of the trailer, which is really nice. You've got that just that extra little bit of protection uh, on the exterior of the trailer, which is what these guys are all about. Now, the structure of this product, friends, is fully laminated. The floor is laminated using a transcore material. It's a different product. They source that out from an outside supplier. Um, has unbelievable screw retention, very rigid. Like when you walk around on the floor inside this trailer, there's like no give underneath your feet, like your typical RV. Okay, very, very rigid, very structurally sound. No wood to go rotten on you at all. The sidewalls, this front panel, the upper panel here, the brow where your stargazer skylight is, okay, that's fully laminated. Even your roof, and I'll just show you the roof line. If you can see it, we'll just stand back. The roof panel actually pitches from the front to the back. It lowers, so you see it's taller here versus here. Because it's a laminated roof panel, which creates a very, you know, like it's, it's built square, this trailer, right? any amount of moisture on the roof is actually gonna hit the roof and run to the back and off the back of the trailer. You're not gonna get these black streaks running down the outside of your trailer. These trailers, before we brought them inside, had like eight inches of snow that had fallen on them over the 24 hours prior, and they melted off. And I mean, like, there's no streaking on the outside of these trailers because it all slopes towards the back and runs off. Okay, now you may get, depending on if you got some dirt up on the roof, you may get some streaking on the back, but it's not down the side of the trailer. Um, but full walk-on roof, that roof, and we're gonna jump up on there on that ladder, and yes, the ladder is completely different than you typically see, full abrasion resistant roof. It's not a rubber membrane up on your roof, it's a fiberglass panel. So it's far more abrasion resistant than what you would have with a TPO uh, roof or an EPDM rubber roof that could, in theory, potentially tear open and allow moisture to affect the wood panning, paneling that you typically see, again, on a conventionally built trailer. Okay, now the sidewalls are composite as well, where a lot of products in the industry still are using the Luon paneling for screw retention and those sorts of things. That's one of the benefits to apply with Luon is you have better screw retention. But with the composite material, they're using Asdale. Asdale's composite, it's built green, it has higher R, uh, R value ratings, better insulation factor to it, uh, it's lighter weight. Uh, but there is no wicking to it whatsoever or the ability to absorb moisture. So um, with the, the sealant that they use on this product, they're really trying to eliminate uh, potential moisture intrusion points that you we typically see with a butyl putty. But with that Asdale, um, there's just, the Asdale does not absorb moisture. It's mold and mildew resistant. And so the chances of this trailer delaminating is almost nil, all right? Unlike most other trailers in the industry. So fully composite hull of the trailer, I would say. So walls, roof, floor, 
every aspect of the exterior of the trailer. Now they do use wood products on the inside with their cabinetry and some of the bed panels and those sorts of things. But in those areas, we're not at the risk of moisture intrusion and rotting and those sorts of things. So, and wood does have some nice warming, um, you know, ambiance type qualities that they've implemented inside here that it really they've nailed the interior and hats off to Ashley for, for creating their styling. So again, you've got the box chassis, you've got the independent Kurt trailing arm suspension, you've got the exoskeleton, you've got the body armor. Like this trailer is special friends. The other thing is you can use it in colder temperatures. So your tanks are all enclosed. You've got a 55 gallon fresh water tank on this trailer, 35 gallon gray, 35 gallon black, okay? They're smaller trailers. There's just simply not enough room to have 70 gallons of gray like a lot of your larger trailers where you've got two gray tanks, okay? But they've put things inside this trailer to help for water conservation, which we'll talk about when we get inside. But there are so many features in this product, folks, that you will only find in fifth wheels. Okay, and their enclosed utility center is one of those areas. There is a ton going on here. So we're just gonna start in the front here and work our way back. Um, you've got the tire link tire pressure monitoring system. It comes with the trailer. So this is the dock for it. We attach the module, we hook up the valve sensors, synchronize it to your phone, and you can monitor your tire pressure as you're going down the highway. You've got a battery disconnect switch here. Right up in the top of this compartment, inverted mounted, is your 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. And that will convert your 12 volt power to 110 power to run a, a laptop. Um, just so you know, the television in here, friends, is a 12 volt television. So no issue with running that TV off your batteries. You don't even have to turn on your inverter. Um, but again, that inverter is nice to have if you want to run a 110 like a laptop or, you know, what, what have you to, um, you know, utilize while you're out boondock camping or what have you. Here's the switch for the inverter. Um, again, you're, you've got a, your wet bay or, or utility panel here, gate valves up inside, they're not hanging down below like most travel trailers, even if they're up inside that heated area of the valve, most of them, those valves are hanging down below. With uh, Ember, they're mounting the valve handles inside the closed protected area, which is really nice. You can bypass your hot water heater. Um, right here, you're not having to pull apart the panel underneath the bed. You've got your outside shower with hot and cold tap, and you've got your B&B &B Nautilus P2.5, uh, P that's a tongue twister, utility panel. This allows you to operate the water inside the trailer. Ember's even giving you this 90 degree elbow here for your um, hook your water line up to. But you can do your winterization through here, your black tank flush, your coax cable if you're plugging into the campground or want to bring a portable satellite dish with you, dry camp mode, um, all of the things that you need to do. I think you might even be able to backfill your fresh water tank with it. Um, but um, we'd have to check in on that, but I believe you can. Uh, I'll clarify that on the next video for you. But again, fifth wheel like features in a travel trailer, even this, like the enclosure, this is all steel in behind here, right? Like if you spray this full of water, you got no worries about things getting wet or rotting or anything like that because this is like, it's all powder coated, beautifully finished steel. It's the same material they use in their outdoor kitchens, um, which is absolutely amazing. So again, they give you the sprayer hose. This is where you run your water lines down. It's not a little plastic cap that can break those sorts of things. Um, I think this is you can actually add another solar panel if you wanted to do a suitcase style solar panel in addition to what's on the roof. Um, speaking of what's on the roof, you've got a 190 watt go power solar panel, um, but check out these baggage doors, like super thick key to like right here. So one key does your entry door, all your baggage doors, but really nice locking mechanisms, just an absolutely beautiful look. So I know I'm spending a lot of time on here, but again, this trailer is packed full of value to maximize your investment and your camping experience. Um, Pre-prep for the side cameras on both sides, and then it's pre-prepped on the rear for the rear vision camera as well. Um, underneath the trailer, again, couple things, friends. They've done the rail tight design, which is an extruded aluminum piece that runs along the perimeter of the underbelly really help keeping that um, coroplast up nice and tight to keep the heat in for that cold weather camping scenario. 
The other thing that um, Ember does is the Coroplast here, friends. They use an astrofoil insulation, but it's bonded to that panel. It's not loose in the underbelly. So from a serviceability perspective, if you gotta pull down your underbelly, you're not having to pull this enclosure down and then deal with a whole bunch of insulation. And trust me, putting that astrofoil back in loose is a huge pain. They bond it to this Coroplast, so it comes down really easy, goes back in real easy, real nice. Even your low point drains, they're adding the, the, the valves to this. I know it seems like a really small thing, but it's all the little things that these guys are doing differently that in a lot of cases, you're not getting with the other manufacturers that are trying to save some cost, right? Uh, you've got a sewer hose holder and then your gate valve for your fresh water tank drain. So you pull that valve right there and that'll drain that hot water or that fresh water tank real fast. So now one thing to note, uh, this part of your floor right here, that's the bottom part of your main floor. Um, again, laminated floor. This is a fiberglass panel that's bonded to the trans core. That's, part, that's the trans core floor right there. Most trailers have a wood floor and then they protect that wood decking with a Darko woven fabric. Well, that woven fabric over time, depending on if you've got road debris hitting it, can wear out and expose that wood floor to the elements. So again, they're really protecting your investment with the quality of materials that they're putting into this trailer. Um, the other thing, you have fully um, full steel wheel wells. And again, like I said, uh, precision. In the first video, if I said, if there was one word to describe this company, the word I would use is precision. Everything has a purpose. Everything is intentionally thought out. Like when you look above this screw here, this little groove, okay, that's a slot for the piece on the other side to fit in. And that ties in again to the superstructure of the trailer, eliminating the deflection that you will feel or deal with potentially with a conventionally built trailer. In this trailer, eliminating, um, you know, potential issues down the line, right? Um, you have a parking brake on each side of the trailer. I think this is ingenious. You know, you got to think, right? Overland camping where you might be camping on a completely uneven surface, where you're having to roll your tire up onto blocks to get your trailer level. Well, in a lot of cases, if you're doing that, you don't have the ability to block your tires to prevent your trailer from rolling, you know, other than using your scissor jacks or what have you. So with these guys, they've got a parking brake. This arm, this is a snipe bar, it comes right out, but it'll allow you to bring over and lock in this parking brake right on your tire, like it locks down solid. And then the other thing is, is you can lock in the, uh, the it's, a, it's basically a safety feature too. So if you park your trailer in an area, a parking lot or a storage yard, you can put a lock on this thing, your trailer ain't moving. So absolutely fantastic. Uh, super long scissor jacks that give you lots of strokes. So again, if you're camping on that uneven surface, um, and you got a long travel to go to get that jack down, you're gonna have lots of travel on that front jack. Again, that two inch receiver I mentioned earlier, if you needed some extra storage, you could get one of those storage trays, we sell them in our parts department, slides right in there. You can pack your firewood in there, um, a generator if you want, although there's a spot up front for a generator. Um, as we're coming around the entry side, fold in and out step, that's really nice because that's gonna give you unbelievable clearance at the back of the trailer lend a hand grab handle i don't know what do you guys think of the branding and the style of the trailer like even the exoskeleton it's serving such an immense purpose but the look of the styling they've put into it it just this trailer looks so racy and the graphics package that they've used to enhance the look of the windows is just fantastic so spray port here on your entryway what's nice about that is if your step is dirty from camping you can hook up the sprayer hose and just spray off your step wipe it down before you take it inside so um, again capital griddle this is the smaller version but real nice cooking appliance it's on a tray slides in and out but again this is all steel in here it's not a wood wood top that we've seen in a lot of outdoor kitchens if you will um, you know, have moisture damage and those sorts of things. There's no issue with this. Even this panel here is all steel as well. Um, the other thing that's neat on all the Ember Overlands, your flip, your baggage doors flip down. The ones on the entry side of the trailer have these really handy straps that you can unhook, but they become little workstations or it's a table to sit down and have a meal if you want. 
Um, the outdoor kitchen on the 190 just over here, it's a great big table that folds down fully supported at your outdoor kitchen, gives you a real nice work, work prep, stair, uh, prep area. Um, you know, again, overland camping, you don't, most of your campgrounds up here, provincial campgrounds have picnic tables at them, right? Well, you've got to bring your own tabletops out with you if you're overland camping, right? So they're thinking of those things. Uh, one of the other major areas of uh, note is the front end of the trailer. Right from the front to the back, you've got the Versa coupler, which is a fully adjustable uh, hitch coupler on the trailer. So if you've got a, a jacked up truck that you want to go full off-road style with, you can fully adjust this coupler. You can even get a articulating coupler so that if you are going extreme um, and your truck is, you know, depending on what terrain you're going over or what obstacle you're about to approach and go through, and your truck is going on a different angle than the trailer, you can get a coupler that will turn like this, right? And your trailer will be at a different angle as it's, you know, navigating um, that terrain to keep your trailer as level as possible. So um, again, you've got that drop down um, I forget the name of it. I did it on the other video too. But there's no like leg with a motor sitting up on top of it, right? So this jack will fit, sit very, very flat, give you far better clearance than your typical electric front jack. But the beautiful thing is that if you've got a truck with a tailgate on it, most trucks do of course, you've got more distance from the back of your tailgate so your tailgate will lay down flat. So really, really nice, fully powder coated chassis is too. So it's gonna have way better, um, you know, rust preventative um, properties than what you would typically have with a painted chassis. Uh, your propane tanks on the storage box are on this side. You've got another door on this side, which will hold your batteries, that's locked right now. Um, but generator, if you wanna pack a 3000 watt generator, or a 2000 watt generator with you, this is a perfect spot to put it fully supported you can strap it down right on the front end of your trailer and away you go so they're really thinking of all the aspects of where you're going to be putting things and utilizing the trailer which is really really cool so you've got a really cool ladder it's the Lippert on the go ladder it's fully collapsible it sits in a box that's like three inches by like 24 inches it completely folds completely flat. One of the things when I go camping, there's been many instances where I'm like, man, I wish I had another ladder that I could use to get, get up that tree to mount up a, uh, a hammock, if you will, um, or, a, or a clothesline to dry off the kids' bathing suits or whatever. And so what Ember has done with the Overland is they give you this fully functional, totally usable ladder in many different scenarios. It's not just mounted to the rear of the trailer, but they put a bracket on the side of the trailer and they put one on the rear. So you've got dual access points, uh, depending on what type of terrain you're, you're going on. But the other thing I really like about this ladder, friends, is the fact that the ladder goes up well beyond the roof line of the trailer. So one thing to note is I would never typically climb up a ladder without turning the camera off and getting it a little bit more secure. So what's really nice about this, like I did in the last video, I climbed up this ladder because I feel comfortable enough about how tall the ladder goes up above the roof line of the trailer to just leave the, la the, the camera on. Normally when I shoot a video, I turn the camera off, like I mentioned, climb up the ladder and then turn it back on. But hey, we're on the roof, all right? Fully laminated fiberglass, aluminum framed, fully bead welded, composite Asdale material inside and out. You have no worry about your trailer uh, absorbing, your roof absorbing moisture, just like your sidewalls, okay? Also, full fiberglass, abrasion resistant, much, much stronger, right up at the front here. Like, look at the exoskeleton. Like, this is so beefy, friends, it's not even funny. It's amazing. Even you've got a wind dam right in front of that window because this star, stargazer skylight hinges this way to help block the wind from pulling up that stargazer skylight. So they're just really thinking, right? The other thing, panel construction. Okay, because these are fully laminated, what I love about this is that we can order right from Ember these fiberglass panels. So let's say if you're camping and something falls on your panel here where your stargazer skylight is and it damages it bad enough that we can't do fiberglass repair work, 
we actually have to order in the panel? We can. We don't actually have to rebuild your whole trailer. Um, if it's an insurance claim, a lot of times insurance companies aren't necessarily giving you, like if they want to write your trailer off, they're not really giving you, in a lot of cases, the full value of what you've invested into your trailer. And so they do sometimes, but not all the time. And so what's nice about this is that right from Ember out of their lamination facility, we can order up any of these fiberglass panels, the ones on the front, the rear wall, this one will be the easiest to change out. But we just remove that exoskeleton, pull the window out, replace that panel, bolt you back together, and you're back out camping again, which is absolutely amazing. Um, the other thing that these guys do, the sealant that they use is called a turnabond. So in behind these corner moldings, they don't use any butyl putty whatsoever, which the butyl putty is horrible, like I'll be honest. Um, I just resealed my own trailer here last year and it was a nightmare. I had to pull off all the corner moldings, replace the butyl putty. It was a pain. And still that trailer was an older trailer, still had some moisture intrusion because it wasn't done in time. Um, unfortunately, I inherited it that way. But the Eterna Bond, okay, doesn't really have a shelf life. It's not going to dry out. It's not exposed to the elements. But this screw, when it goes in, the Eterna Bond tape that's in behind here is very expensive, very easy to work with on the assembly line, which is good. Um, this screw, when it goes in, it goes down into the Eterna Bond, and that Eterna Bond gets sucked down into the hole where that screw is. A lot of screws in the industry that you find going into the exterior walls of the trailer, if they have butyl putty behind it and it's dried out, all of a sudden that screw becomes a conduit for the moisture to travel into the trailer and start to get absorbed by the wood products that that screw is close to. And we've seen it time and time again, friends. Um, this particular trailer, you don't have to worry about that happening, okay? Um, there's your 190 watt solar panel. Again, I'm walking up here. There ain't no flex underneath my feet, really. Very, very solid. Low profile air conditioner, keeping the overall roof height down uh, for those trees and those sorts of things. Uh, you got your vent for your black tank. That has the 360 siphon vent, by the way, which will eliminate the air being pushed back down into the trailer and escaping through the P-traps and through a bad seal on your toilet causing stink inside your trailer. So it's designed to suck the bad air, nasty smelling air out of your black tank, which is nice, uh, and your gray tank. 360, Weingard 360 plus uh, TV antenna. There's the dock on the inside. You can add the gateway device, get your cell phone plan hooked up to it with a SIM card. It's a Wi-Fi booster as well, so you can play all your favorite shows and those sorts of things right on your TV and away you go. So uh, Dometic, it's a fantastic, it's not branded fantastic, but it's the big fan blade in your bathroom and then you've got your uh, skylight there. So uh, we're going to endeavor to jump down here again um, without taking the camera out, turning it off, just to show you guys how easy this is, one hand operation. Of course, while you're doing it, you're going to have two hands, um, but I'm just showing you how easy it is to get up and down the ladder, how safe it is. Absolutely fantastic. I love it. So... Um, what more can we talk about on the outside? I know, I know, you want to go inside. All right, let's do it. Um, again, Ember Overland 171FB, you're 20 feet, 6 inches in length. You know what? Before we jump inside, I'm going to get you the dry weight. I missed that on the last video. I apologize. It's going to be like an hour. It's insanely long, but tons of value for you if you're spending the money. So, your unloaded vehicle weight is, where is it? 4,124 pounds as it came off the assembly line. And you've got a 1,276 pound cargo carrying capacity with this trailer. So very, very good, very respectable for this size of trailer and what you get. And again, friends, you can get this ruggedly built trailer very well-made product to that weight because of the composite materials that go into this trailer. So we're going to jump up inside. So rear entry, wide door. Oh, before we go, that light right there, dimmable. I haven't seen that on a trailer yet before. The Ember has it. Again, lots of features you won't find on another trailer. Body armor. Like, what trailer has body armor? Ember does on the Overland. Sorry. Rear entry, 12 volt, eight cubic foot, Dometic refrigerator 
We are loving the 12 volt fridge. The technology going into this product is so intense. Um, and with that solar, the charge controller is absolutely amazing. And I'm telling you, the, 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 the no vents on the outside, like the list goes on why we love the 12 volt refrigerator and it's the way of the industry and they're, they're just so amazing now. But check out the storage here. Absolutely fantastic. I hope I don't run out of battery power like I did on the last video. So we're in, the slide out is fully retracted on this. So what's cool about this floor plan, friends, is you can use the whole trailer with the slide out in. I'm just gonna shoot around here before I move the slide out for you. So that sofa will flip down into a bed. Push button, you got the cup holders. I love the styling. Like Ashley did an absolutely amazing job with the finishing of this product. The lighter wood treatments, it's got a very warm, inviting, cozy feel to it. Um, the windows in this product, friends, are absolutely amazing. They're a European style. I believe they're an acrylic window, but dual pane, all right? Properly vented the way they've designed them. You don't have to worry about fogging between the two panes, but they louver outward. So you just flip these levers here. Here, we'll just do it for you. Flip these levers here, and you've got different settings so you can latch it in the out position. So there's latch one. Latch two, back that up. Latch three, so fully open window. Now people will be like, what, why would I do that? Bugs are gonna come in. No, they won't because you've got a fully integrated screen right in your window, up and down. Beautiful, check this out. Blackout screen. And on the back side of this, is a, a reflective, thermal reflective um, material to help push the heat away behind that window. It's super cool, the last video I showed it. But check out how big that window is. Super clean. I mean, again, it's not, an, it's not a cheap window, friends. All right, the other thing I'm hearing is that acrylic window, um, it doesn't allow the heat to come inside like a glass window does because it's dual paint and the materials it's made out of, of course. The other thing, again, I know I'm focusing in on the slide here lots and the windows and stuff, but even the storage they've done, no handles. They've just made the door a little bit longer and you just reach up and pull down, but fully supported by those European hinges. Beautiful. And like solid stained wood, screwed cabinetry together. It's all lumber core. They've done such an amazing job with the quality of the product. I love it. Okay, there's your front bed. All the beds in the Ember Overland series are a residential queen size bed. Um, yes, it's a sideways bed, but they're doing that to keep the length down, of course. Um, and you've got some added storage, beautiful. USB connections. I'm running out of USB. I got four minutes left here. We're gonna punch through this. Stargazer skylight, cool thing. You can lay in bed, look at the stars at night. The other thing, you've got your blinds. Again, just like the other window does. Um, if you see here some commotion on the outside of your trailer and you're overland camping in some place totally remote, rather than going outside your trailer, oh, a bear! You can literally open this up, lift it up out of the way, latch the window up, and poke your head up and look out what's going outside from the comfort of your bedroom. Super cool. Lots of drawers, okay? The Furion TV, 12 volt with sound bar built right into it. It's your stereo as well. Uh, Bluetooth capable, and uh, this slides open, storage in behind. So with the Bluetooth TV, you can hook your, hook your phone up to it and you're ready to go. And again, lots of storage. The warmth underneath your bed, whoops, I forgot to show you that. This lifts up out of the way. There's that added storage. If you got the upgraded solar and inverter package and the lithium batteries, the lithium would go under here with the 3000 watt inverter. If you don't have it, you get beautiful added, added under bed storage, which is fantastic. This is all Asdale, by the way, too, that paneling, all composite material. Your Truma Combi furnace hot water heaters right under here too. Super slick, very quiet. Like it's not, it doesn't roar like a regular furnace does. All right, I'm trying to go fast here. Again, decent counter space for a little trailer. All right, dual range, three drawers, lots of storage, very cleanly designed, well thought out.
There's your 30 amp charge controller for your solar go power. We're, we've been a go power dealer for years and years and years. So we have a fantastic relationship with Doug at go power up here in Canada. And, uh, we can always add, I love these little stickers they put on warning, use common sense. <laughs> That's for you, Sherlyn. Anyway, um, I believe this is a thermostat. Yeah, it says Truma on it. So that helps with the heat distribution, like for sensing the temperature to make sure you have even heat throughout the trailer. Here's your bathroom. They mount the toilet paper holder for you. Porcelain foot flush toilet, beautiful vanity and storage, a sink that you can actually wash your face in. They got the little amber light for at night. So one at your entryway, one here in your bathroom, outdoor kitchen. So you're not having that big bright light on. And their vanity is fantastic, super deep. Of course, we know who designed that for all the stuff. And it's all backlit as well, beautiful light. There's your big fan to help move the air throughout the trailer. If you're dry camp and you don't have a generator to uh, run your air conditioner, while well, you turn that fan on, crack a window and let the air flow. Like look at the, oh, they even put a magnet behind the door. Look at that. But fully framed outdoor. I'm telling you, friends, we would love to host you to our dealership at Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta. My name's Clayton Phillips. I'm the sales manager here. We're going to be punching through a lot more videos on this product. We are super jacked up about it. I've got seconds left on this memory card because we put so much in, uh, data on it. Um, but hey, give us a call. 780-986-1234. Love to host you to our dealership and take you on a tour of the all-new Ember Overland. Take care, happy camping, be safe, have fun, and buy an ember.